Hi guys, so I'm back with another wig video. I'm just showing you guys this wig here that I previously made just to compare the curls in this wig to the wig that I'm going to make because it's actually the same hair that I'm using. So we get to see like how the bleach actually affects the hair. So this is the bleach that I'm gonna be using. It's blue. It's like the bleach that I always use, um, so yeah. I don't have a method as to how much bleach I use, how much powder I use. Um, I just kind of pour until I feel like I've got enough. You can't really see it too clearly in this video, but I'm using a 40 developer. I always use a 40 developer regardless what I'm doing. Um, it's, yeah, it's just how I am, it's what I do. So I actually added a lot of developer just because I wanted to kind of just be able to pour it over the hair since I don't really need to be too careful. So I literally just like squeeze a lot, like when I, a lot, a lot of developer. And in the end, I don't even think I had enough and I had to like mix some more. Honestly, I don't know if adding this step makes a difference, but I always add a conditioner to my bleach. Um, I think in my mind, I'm telling myself that it's gonna make the hair come out softer because the conditioner's in there. But I've never really like, it's never been proven. Like, it's just something I like to do. This was the consistency of my mixture after all of that. Honestly, I put, like now looking back, I feel like I could have probably made it a bit thinner but it did the job so it doesn't really matter so yeah i literally just pour it on and rub it in that's all i did i considered using a brush at this point but then i just figured out like it was going to take forever so i just decided to put my gloves on and decided to rub that hair like i was marinating some meat you know <laughs> Once I kind of like coated that the hair on the outer bit of the bundle, I kind of started like unraveling the bundle and like making sure that bleach was getting onto every single strand because I didn't want there to be black strands in my hair once it was finished. As you can see, the hair actually started to process quite fast. I'd only been applying the bleach for about three minutes at this point. Um, so yeah, once I was happy that I coated the hair with enough bleach, I just put the hair into a bag, set that to the side and moved on to the next one. going to bleach my lace anyway I really didn't care about how I was placing this bleach on his hair like if it got on the frontal that was great because I was going to put it on the frontal anyway so if you're doing this you really don't need to be that careful about the lace at all honestly the process of bleaching hair is so simple like anybody can do it hence why this video is going to be so short but when I was doing it, I actually ran out of bleach um, by the time I got to the frontal. As you can see, the hair that's sitting on the sink is much darker than the hair that I'm actually washing out. I just went ahead and used a shampoo and conditioner on those just to make sure that I actually washed out all the bleach. The fact that I'm using a purple shampoo and a purple conditioner has no relevance to this video at all. It's just the shampoo and conditioner that I had available. So technically I could have just um, dried the hair and then made it into a wig straight away. But I decided to water dye it as well just because I like to give myself um, additional stress. So yeah, I used three different colours, Auburn, French Cognac and Ginger. So if you've watched my other video on water dyeing here, you'll know that I like to take a strand and just use that to test the colour of the water so I know that my hair is going to come out the right colour before I dip in the rest of the hair. So yeah guys, 
guys this is what the hair looks like once i put it into a wig as you can see the curls are very different to how it was in the beginning but yeah if you want to see how i made the wig let me know i'm probably going to do a review on this hair because it wasn't the best but i'll give you the pros and the cons <laughs> like comment and subscribe turn the bell on because more videos will be coming very soon